Hello everybody, it is Nicole from Kiwi, and today we are drawing Team Rocket from Pokemon. So let's not waste any time and hop right into the video. Based on the votes from the last video, Team Rocket actually only won by 5 votes. You guys kind of voted pretty evenly around, and Vampire Knight was the runner up again. So being that it was 3 weeks in a row, I'm going to draw them next time. Since I know what I'm going to be drawing next time, I'll let you guys leave suggestions for other characters you want me to draw. You guys can upvote your favorite suggestions, and the top 4 will be options in the Vampire Knight video. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start talking about the drawing. So I remember watching Pokemon a bit growing up. I never actually really watched the entire thing, just a little bit here and there because I actually didn't have any channels at home except for whatever channel Cyberchase was on. I actually had quite a difficult time with the pose because I wasn't really sure how I wanted them to pose together or how they would fit on the paper. I personally tend to draw kind of large and I wanted it to be close up, but I also wanted there to be enough room for the Pokemon as well. I couldn't decide if I wanted them to be back to back or side by side, and I also didn't know if I wanted them to be full body or half body. I actually created about 5 or 6 different sketches for the pose, which I didn't use because I didn't like them, but ultimately I went for Jesse facing away looking back at James, and James facing towards the front looking back at Jesse. I thought that this was a good layout in order to show the giant R on the shirt, but also to have Meowth in the middle and the other Pokemon surrounding them. For the coloring, Surprisingly, the coloring was really simple. I think it was because there was actually not many colors needed for both Jesse and James because they have such a similar color scheme besides their hair color. I started off by just adding the flat colors to Jesse and James and I added the shading on them before moving on to the Pokemon. I just felt like I needed to finish them first before moving on to the Pokemon in the back and Meowth. This just helps me keep track of the markers that I used for them and not mix it up with the markers I plan to use for the Pokemon. Since I couldn't include all the Pokemon that they had, I just went for the ones that I remember the most with Jesse having Ekans but evolving into Arbok, and her Wobbuffet because I remember he would always come out when he wasn't supposed to. And for James, I chose Victory Bell because he would always eat him, and Weezing which was originally coughing. After completing this piece, I actually did a little bit more research and realized that I actually chose Pokemon from the Johto series, which makes sense because I think that's the one that I watched the most. But I did forget about Pokemon like Lickitung and Magikarp, which I had for a while, and they had the whole ship based around Magikarp. And then, of course, Meowth is in the front because he is the main Pokemon. As for the line art, I chose to keep the background Pokemon in colored line art and then outline Jesse, James, and Meowth in black to emphasize their importance, as well as kind of make them pop from the page. I think having the colors of the Pokemon in the back help them pop from the page already, but having that contrast between colored line art and black line art just emphasizes it a little bit more. I also added a white outline around the three to separate them from the background Pokemon. But unfortunately, that line didn't really come out as smooth as I wanted, but it did give it the effect anyways. Overall, I'm really happy with the outcome of this piece. I think it was really challenging in many ways, 
but I'm glad I was able to complete it. One thing I did notice afterwards was that in my original reference, Jessie had green eyes, but later I noticed that she had blue eyes and I colored them green. But that is a quick fix and I really like how this piece turned out anyways. I think slowly but surely I'm learning how to draw guys, so there's hope for me yet. And as a reminder, I'll be drawing Vampire Knight next time, so be sure to leave your suggestions down below of characters that you want to see. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you're notified of when I post a new video. So with that, I want to thank you all so much for joining me today. Keep drawing, keep creating, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!